Hello class 12th in this lecture in the previous lectures we have completed successfully the simple microscope compound microscope and astronomical telescope both the types this is over this part of the topics the next part of the topic is the resolving power of the instrument optical instrument so what is resolving power of the optical instrument if you are watching this through this mobile phone this is just a video which is recorded video and this is recorded by any camera suppose this one as you are seeing this camera is recording my voice my face my everything and this camera can show you the two hands clearly these two hands if the camera means recorded video shows you these these are the two hands it means this camera is capable to resolve the two hands again if you are seeing the five fingers one two three four five if it is means the camera was able to resolve these five fingers separately so this is having resolving power still if you are not understanding see on the screen you are capable to see some dots very easy because you are able to see your eyes and your the, the camera lens has power to see you can say this is resolving power but I don't want to come on that word suppose we are unknown of the resolving power so if you are seeing these dots on the screen separately you can see see means your eyes are able to resolve these points separately now just decrease the distance between the points now what will happen on decreasing the distance between the points you might have a different problem to resolve you might have a different problem you might have some problem to separate the images this case shows what the points are very closer so you are unable to distinguish that either they are two points or a single point means you can't say that how much distances are distances there between the two point this is actually resolving power if your eye can separate the two closer objects if your eye if the instrument using any instrument like the spec or anything else if your eye is able to separate the two different objects so it means is what the resolving power so so resolving power is resolving power to separate the two objects in your brain if there are two objects suppose there are two hands and your brain your eye is giving signal that there are two means you have the resolving power now if, it's, if, if your eye is still says that they are two separate things you have the resolving power now there is very less resolving power of your eye if you are unable to separate two objects here the objects are very bigger so you can uh, distinguish between the two objects that this is a right hand this is a left hand so you can say that but what is the definition right now the resolving power of any optical instrument is the ability to produce two distinct images of two separate objects more precisely the resolving power of any optical instrument is to produce separate images of two close objects for example the two stars are twinkling in the sky there are many stars even there but I am taking the two stars if they are so close so our eye will not be able to separate them if they are so close we might be able to see only single blink but suppose if you are using telescope and then we come to know that there are two stars at some distance it means our eye was not capable to resolve the images our eye was not able to resolve the two images which were very close of the objects which were very close using the optical instrument telescope we come to know that there are two objects 
they were very close. So the images formed by the telescope of the two close objects is resolved now. Okay, this I think you can understand what is resolving power. Now simply you can say to produce separate images of two closed object. Two closed objects is called resolving power. Now further, if you want to understand the resolving power, I want to show you uh, using three images I want to show you. See, the first image. See the first image. In the first image, there are two objects. You can say O, O dash. And due to that, the light's rays are going. And suppose this uh, is one slit, a hole something. You want to see. Uh, the slit is enough over. That means there is a hole to pass the light. So the light of the objects O and O dash, they are going through the slit to form the image on the screen. So you can see they form the image. But after that, just see the intensities. Intensity of light is shown on that position. So that intensity of light, if I want to represent that with a circle. So you can see those two circles are separate enough to understand that they are two different objects. In the second image, the objects are a little closer so that their intensities are very coinciding or you can say overlapping. And so that if we want to represent that intensity in the form of circles, so you can say the circles are overlapping. If they are overlapping, so can you distinguish that these were two? I know the objects were two objects. But in the image, they are overlapping. So a little bit difficult. So this one is having more resolving power than that one. One more diagram you can see. In that, the object O and O dash are very close right now. What will happen now? The intensities will overlap further enough. If the intensity will, will overlap and the representation of that is a circle. So you can see the circles are overlapping. So the last one is having very worst resolving power and the first one is having the best resolving power. I think now you come to know about what is resolving power to separate the images of two close objects. And the next point is limit of resolution. Again see the first diagram. In the first diagram you can see the object OO dash produces the image II dash. These rays are going through the one slit. So the angle between the ray of O and O dash is what? Limit of resolution. So the limit of resolution is that in this diagram that you can see the angle subtended at the objective. What is objective? This lens. The angle subtended at the objective for these two objects O and O dash. Here you can say alpha. So alpha is the limit of resolution. Means after this it is unable to resolve. This is what? Limit. The one which has very less limit, very less limit, see, le limit means the minimum and minimum angle. The one which has very less limit of resolution will have very high resolving power. See, understand this diagram. If this alpha is decreasing for any instrument, suppose this is very less alpha. So what? That instrument is capable to separate the images. It means it has very less limit and if the instrument is having very less limit means having very high resolving power so point noted that resolving power and limit of resolution are reciprocal to each other so here alpha is what limit of resolution so we got that the smaller the limit smaller aside uh, generally we can say in a word one word we can say 
the smaller and smaller the limit of resolution means alpha the smaller and smaller see suppose these are the two objects o and o dash having alpha this angle so it means they are able to resolve these two objects if alpha is decreased right now from this to this alpha is decreased so if alpha decrease means this is called limit of resolution so limit of resolution is smaller right now and now these two closer objects it resolved again means the second one is having more resolving power so what we got smaller the limit of resolution larger the resolving power so again see this diagram in this diagram again the o and o dash produces the images we can say this these images are resolved and the angle between angle subtended on the uh, objective we can say the limit of resolution the alpha on that side it is theta but the angle is uh, alpha and theta are same by what the vertical angles vertically opposite angles so this proof is not in your syllabus you have to only see the equation that alpha or theta is equal to 1.22 lambda by d what does it mean means if theta is a smaller value if theta is very small so that instrument is having large resolving power so theta is what limit of resolution if theta is minimum so instrument is having larger and larger resolving power and theta is equal to what 1.22 lambda by d what is lambda the wavelength of light it means if wavelength will be more so theta will be more to resolve two objects the wavelength should be lesser if we can separate the images of two shorter wavelength better than the two rays of the longer ray and again i'm speaking this is very easy to separate two objects emitting shorter wavelength than the longer wavelength and lambda upon d d is what here d is the aperture of lens d vertical length aperture of the lens so to decrease the theta the value of d must be higher and higher if you remember that in the astronomical telescope we want to uh, have a magnified means if you want to increase the magnifying power so we had to increase the aperture the the size of the objective same way here if you want to increase the resolving power so we have to increase what the aperture of the lens if the aperture means d value will increase so theta value will decrease definitely if theta value will decrease so res, uh, limit of resolution will decrease if theta value decreases limit of resolution decreases means the resolving power increases now this 1.22 lambda by d is not in your syllabus but still something more which is not in your syllabus i'm going to explain so we have seen the limit of resolution of the telescope which is uh, for the objects which are very far distance now let's see limit of resolutions for the telescope when the objects are placed underneath the microscope so, so it forms the cone angle before that remember limit of resolution for the telescope was alpha is equal to 1.22 lambda by d here in case of microscope the limit of resolution is directly proportional to the lambda over the cone angle see this diagram you can see the cone angle so in this case in the case of microscope when the object is placed underneath the object uh, ipis uh, objective lens so the, the limit of resolution it depends on the wavelength and the cone angle the cone angle you have seen in the diagram was 2 alpha alpha this side and alpha that side also that is why the cone angle is 2 alpha we can use lambda upon 2 alpha and we can use that 1.22 lambda upon 
two sine alpha. The angles are so small, so you can see you can use the two sine alpha. Limit of uh, the limit of resolution is 1.22 lambda upon two sine alpha. Remember this point. This is not in the book. In the case of microscope, we are placing one object underneath the objective lens. But you must remember that if the object is self-luminous, if the object is self-luminous, at that time you will write the limit of resolution is equal to 1.22 lambda upon 2 sin alpha if the object is self-luminous. And if the object is non-luminous, then you will use only lambda upon 2 sin alpha. And if the object is the, suppose the whole microscope is placed under some uh, medium, in, inside some medium. So that medium suppose has a vector index m. So what will happen? At that time, the limit of resolution will be equal to lambda upon 2 n sine alpha. Here n is what? The refractive index of the medium. The part, the refractive index and sine alpha, the product of refractive index and sine alpha is called NA, numerical aperture. So these is what the, uh, about the resolving power and you have seen in the equation to decrease the limit of resolution, we have to increase what? The aperture of the lens. Second option, to decrease the limit of resolution, we have to decrease the wavelength. But how we can do that? We can do that with the electron microscope. The electron microscope emits the wavelength of very short wavelength. It emits the light of very short wavelength. In the electron microscope, instead of using or use of uh, means instead of using light rays, we will use electron beam. And the electron beams are very fast. It moves very high with very high speed because it is focused with the electric and magnetic fields. So if the velocity of electron is so high, so the wavelength emitted by the elect moving electron will be very small, about of one angstrom. And this microscope is 5,000 times better, means magnifier, than the other normal type microscopes. So we are using this type of microscope. So we can see further magnified images. So the powerful microscope is called electron microscope. Now here I am ending this session and here I am ending this chapter also. In the next lecture we will talk about the next chapter that is chapter 19 the high principle. Okay. Till then be safe and thank you.